Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number two. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the types of programs that can open an HTML document. And I'm also going to talk about the basic setup and structure of your HTML document. Although I'm not going to cover every aspect or everything that should be included in your structure, this is going to be just a brief introduction to uh, the setup and structure of your HTML document. I'm also going to talk about starting and closing tags or opening and closing tags and I'm also going to talk about saving your HTML document giving it or basically giving it the proper uh, file extension so let's go ahead and get started uh, in terms of the types of programs that can open HTML documents there's really a lot of programs that can open and edit HTML documents in this case you'll notice at the top of my document it says introduction dash notepad well the program I'm using is called notepad that's why it says notepad so I'm gonna assume most people know how to open notepad if you don't I can give you an example of how you open it on Windows XP just click on the start menu and I believe it's in accessories so go through your start menu go to accessories find notepad and open it if you're on Windows 7 or Vista, it probably can't help you. I've never used either one of those operating systems. I've only used Windows XP and Windows 8. If you're on Windows 8, just go to your charm bar in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Click search, and then type in notepad. And then when you type in notepad to the far left of your screen, you should see notepad. Just left-click on that, and that will open up notepad. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to my browser. So hopefully you know how to open notepad now. If you don't, send me a message and I'll try to help you if you can't open notepad so let's start talking about setting up the structure for your your uh, HTML document the first thing that you do is you define what version of HTML you're using in this case for our tutorials I am going to focus on the newest version of HTML called HTML5 so the way that you would define the this document as an HTML5 document you would write an angle bracket, then an exclamation mark, and then in capital letters, doc type. And then you'll hit the space bar key, and you will write in lowercase letters, HTML. And then we're going to close it with an angle bracket. So what you see on the screen right now is defining this document as an HTML5 document. So that's how you want to write your, your uh, way of defining this document as, as an HTML5 document angle bracket exclamation mark capital letters were doc type and then the letters HTML so I think it's really simple easy to understand that we're using version 5 when you write that so let's go ahead and hit the enter key and this time we're gonna write a HTML tag so we write an angle bracket and then all in lowercase letters HTML and then another angle bracket and usually when you're writing uh, HTML markup tags, because that's what this is, this is an HTML markup tag, you want to keep it in lowercase letters. And that's just good practice. It may render your HTML tags properly even if you don't write it in lowercase letters, but try to keep your HTML tags in lowercase letters. It's just good practice. And then hit the Enter key. Hit the Enter key one more time. And then we're going to create the closing HTML tag. So you put a forward slash and then HTML and then angle bracket. So that starting HTML tag is saying this is the start or the beginning of our HTML document. Okay, we already defined that what version of HTML we're using. Now we're saying, hey, this is the start of our HTML document. This is where we're going to start rendering content for our HTML document. And then that closing tag, which has a forward slash before HTML. That's saying this is where everything ends. This is where the HTML document stops. So this is what we're telling the web browser. This is a starting and stopping point. Or in other words, if you want to use the technical term, this is the starting tag for, it, for the HTML document or the opening tag for HTML document. And then that closing tag is the closing tag of, HTML, of the HTML document or the ending tag of HTML, the HTML document. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So everything between these two tags, the opening and closing HTML tag, is going to be all HTML markup language. 
So the next thing that you want to write is your body tag. So you write an angle bracket, lowercase letters, you write the word body, and then another angle bracket. And this is the starting part of your body tag. And what the body tag does is it, it's the tag that you're going to write all the content that you can actually see physically on the website. So that's why they give it the name body. So this is your body tag. And then let's go ahead and hit enter twice and then angle bracket forward slash and then the word body in lowercase letters and then another angle bracket. And this is the ending or closing body tag. This is where we say this is where all the information you can see on the website is going to stop. This is the ending point or the closing tag for the body section. Okay, so this is your basic structure and setup, although it doesn't cover everything, but this is kind of your brief introduction to the body setup for, or the setup structure for your HTML document. Okay, I'm sorry I used the word body, that could be a little confusing. Everything from the HTML tag to the body tag is your basic structure, including the document type you wrote at the top for de defining the version type. So this is your basic, basic structure of your HTML document. Always remember that HTML tags, most of the time, I would say 98 to 99% of the time, come with an opening and closing tag. And as you can see for the body tags, we have the opening tag that doesn't have the forward slash. And then we have one that has the forward slash, which is saying this is a closing tag. For the HTML tag, we have HTML without the forward slash, saying it's the starting point. And then we had an HTML tag with the forward slash before the, the letters HTML indicating that it's the closing tag. So those come in pairs because they're HTML uh, markup tags. Whereas the first part, the document type with the HTML is defining the version of HTML we're using. That's not a normal um, tag that has an opening and closing tag. So hopefully that makes sense to you uh, what I mean by that. And that's just... As I said, it's defining the version type, the doc type with the HTML. The other tags are actually HTML elements. So there is a difference. And I'm sorry if you heard my phone in the background. Uh, I've got my business going on and I, I might get emails that are really important. So I have to keep that on, unfortunately, during my tutorials. So now that you understand how to do that, the next thing I want to talk about is actually saving your document with the right name giving it the proper name, the file extension. So if you go to file and go to save as, when you save this document, you're going to give it the file extension .htm or .html. So you'll write .htm, which I've already saved this document, so it's just going to overwrite the original. But you can write htm or html, and that stands for hypertext markup language. And as long as you give it either .htm or .html, it's going to save the file as the proper thing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And it's going to give me a warning, and I'm going to replace it and hit yes. And if we go to our file structure or look on our computer for that document, let's go to Documents. And then let's look for Web Design Tutorials for HTML. Here it is right here. Double left click on that. And you'll see that that file that I saved called introduction has the Firefox icon so that means I saved it as the proper name and if I double left click on that it's going to open it in my Firefox web browser in this case it doesn't display anything because we haven't written anything in that body section and remember the body section is the visible content that you're going to see on the website so I hope that this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to set up a basic structure for your uh, HTML document and also for defining what version of HTML you're using. And I hope that you now know how to, you know, save your file properly as well with the proper extension with the .htm or .html. And uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message on YouTube. Leave a comment, subscribe, and bed. Give me thumbs up, favorite. You know, give me some kind of feedback. Let me know what you guys think of these HTML tutorials. I know some of you will already understand this stuff. And if you just wait and bear with me, uh, I can promise you there'll be more content and some of it, some of it may be relevant to you. So hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.